the Tech Temple, and I'm here today with the new Windows Phone 7 for Sprint. No, I'm just playing. Uh, this is still the HTC Hero from Sprint. Um, just to let you know, still right there, it says Sprint. But what I have right now is a new launcher, and this launcher is called uh, Launcher 7. So as you can see, it makes your uh, your screen look like you're running a Windows uh, Phone 7. And I know what people say, why would you want to have a Windows Phone 7 screen if you have an Android phone? Well, you know what, Android, the point of it is that it's open and you can do whatever you want. That's the good thing about it. So just to get that argument out the way. But it does have your tiles, um, your dynamic tiles. So you got your phone, your messaging that tells you how many uh, unread messages you have. Same with unread phone calls that are up there. It's got your unread Gmail, your contacts camera, and your uh, this takes you to the the gallery. And I added a couple more. I'll show you how to do that. I just got this this morning, and one thing I had trouble with, I couldn't find a guide on how to use it. So what I'm going to do is uh, make this a little tutorial also. So just like on Windows Phone, you can press that, and that'll take you to the the drawer. Um, you can have it just like they have it on Windows Phone, where everything is um, just one column, but I feel like that takes too, too long, especially when you have an Aziz and you're trying to you start from the A's. It takes way too long to get to. Uh, this is the free version. There is a, a ad-free version if you don't want that, but hey, that ad's not, it's not really in the way, so I just left it alone. But um, scrolls. Everything's cool. You can also swipe to get to the drawer. Swipe and swipe back. Still got your notification bar. You can hide this notification bar, and you can also go into the uh, settings. I'll show you. Uh, oh, that's wrong settings. You can also go into the launcher seven settings, and where it says uh, status bar options, you can go ahead and change it back to change it to the Windows. Phone 7, well, and that is just um, a battery icon, and it shows you your uh, signal strength. But I kind of like the Android bar better because it's, uh, I like it better because it shows you more stuff. But like I said, you can also put battery percentage there, um, filtered apps, this is apps that you, want, you don't want to show from your app drawer, and there's the credits. So... I'm going to show you a little thing that I did when I first got it. When I first got the phone, I did this. Well, I'm going to tell you right now. This in this corner, this little pencil, that you edit it. So if you hit the uh, edit, you can change the label. You can change the color of that tile. You can change it, um, the actual icon. You can also select icons that you have on your own SD card. And that's all you can change in the settings. But when I first got it, I hit this pen and I thought this pen was to for some reason for some reason I thought it was to unmove it so I hit this and then it was like whoops and what would you think you would really think that you would hold this and it would come up but no so I spent all afternoon trying to figure this out so this is what you do how to add a new tile so let's say I want to add the phone back so what you do is hold it and from here you can uninstall remove it from this list and when you remove it from this list, it'll show into the the apps and the settings we just showed. But you want to hit pen to home screen. And from here, you got a lot of options. You can change the title. You can change the tile size. One by one is just a square. If you do one by two, it's the it covers the whole width of the phone. You can change the icon. This is what we're going to do right now. Application icon, it is just the basic icon that you see in the drawer. But what the developer has done is included the icons from Windows Phone 7. So you want to hit, like I said, icon, go to app, custom icon, go to custom icon, options, under bed map type. You can either uh, find a size for the image. I'm not sure what the size is. I'll find that out. But go ahead and select bundled and select from stock images. Now from the stock, this is these are all that's included. Calendar, calculator, uh, Chrome clock, all these are included. So 
we hit um, phone. I'm sorry, I said one by two earlier. I meant two by one. So I want the phone. And I can also change the color, but the color is fine with me. And the extras. So let's say you have a... So I got the phone. I want to know how many missed calls I have. If I didn't have this bar up here, you can go ahead and check that. So that will tell you how many missed calls you have. So just hit, click the add tile. Now when you add it, it's not going to add it to the top. It's going to add it to the bottom. So I got my phone down there. What you want to do is hold it. And then you can drag it up. And just let go. And then press the back button. And it's there. And it works. And it takes you to the phone. Just like um, contacts does. Takes the contacts. Still got the Windows animation, so that's cool. What's also nice is when you turn it, the icons rotate. So that's kind of cool. And uh, also, I also found a player. It's also from the developer of Launcher Pro, so you know it's legit. The music player that's it's pretty similar or pretty much basically the same as from Windows Phone 7. So I have my shortcut for music set for that. So you hit the music, and I'll post the link to the APK in the notes. If you just or in the description, if you just hit see more, you can just download it because it's not in the market. But this actual launcher, Launcher 7, is in the market, but this isn't. So one thing I do like about this, I mean, if you like more simplistic type interfaces, this is real nice, not laggy at all. And one thing I do like that they did with this. So let's say I hit uh, Jamie Foxx, is when you play, it'll automatically use, I don't know where it gets the picture from, but it'll automatically put a background while you're playing the phone, or playing the song. So I hit that and it automatically has, you know, this, uh, the background, if I were to choose a different artist, like Jeremiah. Oh, that's a ring. And then, see, that's cool. Oh, yeah, let me uh, pause it. So that's real cool, I think. That's an overview. I showed you how to change the tiles. showed you how to uh, delete them and add them. One thing I will say about, if you want them like this, like I said, select two by one and the options instead of the one by one. And everything is pretty smooth. So it makes your phone, at least the top portion, the skin, the launcher portion, look like Windows Phone 7, but you still got the beauty of having all your Android apps. So if you got any questions, as always, as everybody else will tell you, I'm pretty quick about responding to comments or questions. So just let me know, put them in the comments if you got any questions, or hit me up uh, on the email. As always, hit up the website. I'm going to make a post about this. So thanks again for watching the Tech Temple. Cause wise man out, wise man white. And Cupid has done it.